Hey everybody, Stogie Farts here. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my aquaponics system. Just to give you a recap, I started aquaponics about two years ago. Everything went great for two years and then all hell broke loose and all my fish died. So I took that opportunity to move my system from one area of my yard all the way to the other area of my yard. And now that I've done that, I figure it would be a perfect time to give you a walkthrough, what my system looks like, how it works, some of the things I've learned, some of the mistakes I made, and hopefully if you're in aquaponics, you can learn from my mistakes and maybe uh, incorporate some of my ideas into your system. Or likewise, if you see something I'm doing wrong, leave me a comment, let me know uh, what you think I should be doing differently, and I'd love to hear from you. So here we go. I'm going to take you over there and walk you through the system. Okay, so here's my system from afar and all it is is it's supported on some cinder blocks with a big board going from one end all the way to the other. On top of the boards I have three Rubbermaid bins. These are 45 gallon bins. There's the second one. There's the third one. Now in aquaponics you don't have any dirt. So what I have is these lightweight clay uh, balls. Very lightweight. Um, they are good for growing things in and handling and all that good stuff. That's called hydrotone or hydrotin or hydrotin. It depends. All these people have different pronunciations. I call it hydrotone. Anyway, uh, when you want to plant something, you could just, you know, move it aside, drop in some seeds, drop in a plant, cover it back over, and you're all set to go. And uh, anyway, I'll show you the plumbing now. Underneath here is a big, huge 110 gallon tank. It's another uh, Rubbermaid bin, and I will show you what happens. Normally fish will live in here, but as I said in my intro, all my fish died. So uh, right now it's just uh, straight water. And what happens is, let me move around the backside. Sorry about that. I'm a horrible, uh, this isn't planned as you can see. Um, so around the backside, we have a pipe. Now you have to imagine because you can't see underwater because I don't can't afford a camera that goes underwater. There's a pump. And all the pump does is suck up water and spit out water. So it's sucking up water through this main pipe. And you can see the pipe goes all the way down, way back there, okay, and it goes up. Let me go back around. So here's that same pipe. It sucks up water, goes up, and then I split it into three directions. One for this grow bed, one for that grow bed, and one for that grow bed. And all that's doing is it's constantly pouring water, you can see the water coming out, into each of the grow beds. Now those grow beds are filling up slowly but surely with water, and as it's filling up, it's watering the roots and any other plants that are in there. And then when it reaches a certain spot, a certain height of the grow bed, it siphons out and drains down, as you can see happening right here. This grow bed is just draining all its water very quickly. And then when it's done, it'll stop and it'll look like that one right there, just completely empty. So that one you know is filling up. This one's already reached the top and it's emptying itself. The good thing about that is, as you can see, it creates lots of bubbles and a lot of uh, surface uh, uh, disturbance. And that's good for the fish. It creates more oxygen in the water. And uh, as you know, uh, oxygen is extremely important to any living creature. So, what else can I show you? Okay. In addition, in addition to the pump going straight up and over there to the grow beds. Uh, I also divert it. Some of the water goes through here and to this thing. This is an addition that I didn't have when I first started my system and it's very important. What it does is it helps filter out some of the crap and some of the solids and some of the just the fish poo and yucky crap uh, so it doesn't go into my grow beds. Uh, it's, a, it's a filter. And what I'm going to do is, uh, let me lift off the lid and I'll show you. 
without... Holy crap. Okay. So. Here's a top-down view. So, again, this is, this is the pipe. This is connected to the pump that's sucking up water. Uh, most of it's going that direction, where it goes up to the grow beds. But I have this little T-valve that also takes water. It pushes it through this pipe. And that pipe is right here and it's it's uh you can see it's just pouring water into this tub now what happens is is the solids that are being pumped in here filter down and you could see all that little like looks like dirt and crap on the bottom well that's exactly what it is dirt and crap so uh it helps uh keep the solids in this bin without uh keeping it in the fish tank or without putting them up here into the grow bed. So this is a good way to help get a lot of solids out of your system. So what happens is the water is being pumped through that pipe, and over here is a drain pipe. Now one thing I did is I took this uh, little sponge filter and I just put it over the drain pipe. Oop, you see all that crap floating in the water? Let me put that back up. But look on there, can you see all that crap? That's all stuff that this has been blocking from going back into the grow bed, or excuse me, into the fish tank. So again, this is diverting water into here. The solids, most of them are gonna, you know, just kind of settle down to the bottom. Whatever doesn't get settled down will get caught by this thing. And that pipe comes out to the bottom and returns the water right here. Okay, so it's like a, it's just like a, a, a temporary filter. Now one important thing to notice that I've done is if this thing ever gets too clogged, you can see how clogged it is right now, but there's still some room. The water will keep rising up and up and up, and this thing will catch what it can. If the water gets too high, it's important to always have an overflow valve uh, hole. Excuse me. So right there, if the water gets too high, it'll start overflowing into here which I have running down, and that is right here going back into the uh, fish tank. So that way, God forbid, something happens, um, and this thing gets clogged, uh, the water won't overflow when I lose everything in my system. It'll just overflow into here, and then it'll return back into the tank until I can clean it. And to clean this thing, all I did is I made another outlet here with a knob. And uh, I just turn the knob, empty out all the dirty water, close it again, and that's it. Uh, and, and I also will rinse this piece of crap off too, because that's a big mess. Now one other thing I should mention before I uh, do this, you could see that this is uh, uh, pushing up water with uh, some force. Um, we want to get the solids to sink to the bottom and not just go from here right to here. It'd be nice if it sinks. So what I did, is here's the lid. Well, on the bottom of the lid, I installed a, uh, I just drilled a hole in it and uh, put a screw in it to secure uh, just a little, little like, you know, plastic lid pot thing. So that goes right over the top, like that. And now that water uh, that water will, you know, go into the, the lid, and then that lid kind of filters the water down, so it hopefully helps settle the solids. So that was one important thing I learned, um, or I did. The second thing I did is I figure, well, let's look at this thing. This thing is pumping water, which could have fish waste and fish poo, through my little filter that I just showed you. So whatever goes in there I know is going to get caught. I know this is going to take care of whatever water is going through here, and when it returns the water right here, that's going to be clean water. Okay, well what about the stuff that's going, that doesn't go through here? What about the water that goes up through here, all the way across, and up there, into the grow beds? Isn't that going to put a lot of crop and stuff in here? Yes, it is. So I did these little temporary things, which seem to be working out. These are little filters on the um, the output nozzles of the grow beds. And all they are, let's see if I could show you. See, without it, it's just going to pour water in there. So whatever water is being pumped in there, 
you know that's water that didn't go through my filter. It's just straight from the tank. So I made these little things. Oop. <laughs> these little things. All it is, and this is going to be extremely hard to do with one hand, is I cut a water bottle in half. So you can see it's an upside down water bottle. And I drilled some holes in the water bottle, which I don't know if they're showing up here. And inside, look how crappy that looks. That should be white. But that is uh, polyester foam. In fact, I will show you, I went to Walmart, I bought a bag for about $3 and something cents. And it's the same stuff you put into like pillows and stuffed animals. And it's just polyester fiber. So what I did is I took a handful of that polyester fiber and I stuffed it inside this drilled, this cut in half water bottle with holes in it. Stuffed it in there. And that helps capture a lot of the solids. And then what I did is I took a pair of old tights that belonged to one of my daughters and I tied off the bottom, or if you cut off the leg part, you won't have to tie it off. And then I just wrapped it over like a sock and uh, as you can see over here and that helps capture anything that you know when this thing gets full and the water starts overflowing this sock acts as a second layer of protection which keeps out a lot of the crap and uh, and you would be surprised in fact I'll show a video right now on the, the screen showing what this looks like being washed and how much crap comes out of this thing so you wash it, you know, every few days, you know, or if it lo starts looking full, you know, look at, if you look at this one, you could see how, how wide and uh, like expanded that thing is. It's just full of water. That's because this sock is getting so full of gunk that it can't contain itself any longer. So I know I need to clean that one. Uh, but you just wash it off and clean it, put it back in there, and it acts as a secondary filter to keep out a lot of the crap that might build up in here. Now why is it important to keep crap out of here? Well it's not super important but it is in the long run because if you imagine this thing constantly filling with fish crap uh, after about a, a year or two uh, it's going to be so much sludge in there that uh, you're going to have your hands full and that's the problem I ran into. Um, the last thing I was going to show you something I just did today well, I have these air lines in here, so you could see something like this. It's weighted. It's uh, weighted down with some PVC, but when you put it in the water, it creates air bubbles. Well, that's good for the fish. It's more more oxygen. Well, I took one of these air lines and I fed it. Well, let me just take this off. I made something that looks like this. So it has a a, a long pipe that goes up into here. So all I did is feed an airline down that long tube and oh crap. And then across and near the end there. So you can see uh, what it does is it creates what's called a, a an uplift vacuum. So the air, which you see bubbling out of there, it's actually lifting, it's actually sucking uh, the solids from the bottom of the fish tank into this thing up here and out the top. Now what's the point of sucking it out of the fish tank and spitting it back into the fish tank? Well what my hope is is that it'll suck some of the solids that might be on that side of the tank. That's why that, that extending arm is really long. My hope is that it'll suck some of the stuff from that part of the tank up and out this and this drops it right below where the filter is so then that'll then suck it up full circle back to the beginning of this video in which will go either into that filter or into the grow beds and into those little sock thingies so uh, that's uh, pretty much it now I gotta fix that again uh, but when that's connected up that spits out water and it's kinda cool well, that's it. <clears throat> that's sort of the rundown of my system. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything about aquaponics or about my system, please let me know. Uh, just leave a comment below. I'd be happy to hear from you and, and 
take any questions you might have. I realize my system isn't uh, the best design out there, but this is what I did kind of just off the top of my head on the spot, and it's been working. So um, anyway, look forward to hearing from you. Talk to you later.